Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Day. This is the Butterfly Healing. Uh, today we're going to do the Butterfly Kisses messages um, for our fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. What we will do is we will pull three cards um, for overall energy. I am just, I'm just, so much going on right now. I do apologize. Um, so much energy. I'm just being called just to pull three cards and intuitively interpret. No questions until there is questions. Um, and I'm going to um, pull from the Kipper. Oh, sorry, pull from the Kipper, and then we'll use the Psychic Tarot um, to confirm what the message is behind it, and then we'll move on with the Butterfly Kisses deck to get additional clarity of who this person could be. Um, time frames, age ranges, chakra uh, points that could be overactive, underactive, messages of love, lust, and other. So let's get started. For the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Okay, first, okay, second card, third card, Archangel Michael, we usher you in to help us direct, correct, and confirm the message, all right, so, first card is imprisonment, hmm. second card, the lovers, third card, occupation, bottom of the tech, 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 Nicole, some, somebody in technical, uh, tech support, something like that. Wealthy man at the bottom of the deck. Maybe that, well, maybe that wealthy man is in tech support, tech, to IT. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some clarity around this. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, we usher you in at this time. Asking for the angels, archangel, spirit guides, spirit team to help us direct, correct, and confirm the message for the fire sign, children, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Alrighty, let's see. The bottom of the deck is conflict and defeat. Hmm, let's see. Imprisonment. Oh. Okay, I only want what's Imprisonment. 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 The hangman. The ace of wands. I'm sorry, um, the ace of swords. The nine of swords. A lot of, um, uh, mental anguish. So this is mental imprisonment. Someone's not seeing something clearly. Go further into the spirit. Okay. There you are. Oh. Okay, that's what I was feeling. Someone is feeling in, trapped, imprisoned. Mentally, possibly even emotionally. Um, and they're, again, clarifying the lover's card. Six sixty six. You're in your in. You're feeling trapped and imprisoned, away from your lover, the love of your life. Mentally, um, mental anguish. Um, maybe you feel really distant f from them, or they are distant. F they are. <laughs> you have you. Okay, slow down. Thank you, spirit. You're all over your all over the place. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to feel. You don't know. How, you are feeling like you're being confound and bound by your thoughts and your heart. That's what I feel. I feel like you feel like someone has, I guess, maybe locked you away from a beginning that you wanted, a stable beginning that you thought you would have you were hoping to have that you were I heard that you were hoping that someone would have patience to have hmm 
That's what I have for imprisonment. Moving on to lovers. What, why is this lovers card here? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Intuition. Go further. Why is it triumph? Okay. All right. Okay, so we do have, I felt a lot of masculine energy. Emperor, chariot card, triumph, and intuition. There's, first of all, let's just talk about the major arcana that's on this board right now. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One more, I just need one more card for spirit. I heard um, broke out of stone, no longer stone, <laughs> firm foundation, like a mountain, you like broke, broke from whatever, whatever was stag, whatever was stagnant in the mind, causing stagnation in the intuition, causing someone not to move, being very not willing to move, not willing to budge, 44, not willing to move, not willing to budge, but wanting a, a solid foundation with someone. I feel like you know that it's time to move forward, but you're still being stubborn. Because this chariot card to me is like very uh, whimsical in the mind. Like I got on my horse and in my mind, this is what I'm going to do. But you didn't move. You didn't do anything. And that's probably why you feel in prison, because whatever you were supposed to do, you didn't do. And I'm hearing somebody got somebody cut it before cut the cords before I got to it or cut cut slam the door before I got to it. Something like that. Go further for the lover's card. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. The lover's card. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah awareness the magician you definitely wow okay you were aware that this was your person you were aware that you were supposed to open your heart space you were aware that this was your destiny your wish fulfillment and you decided to bring devil type energy into it and the truth was still revealed um to, oh, the truth was revealed to someone who had a passion that needed to make a decision and they stood in their power to have a foundation. They took their wisdom and, and tore this thing apart because they were spiritually strong enough to know that this union had to come to an end or they would be left out in the cold because they knew that there was some shadow. They were ready for their new beginning. So that's, that's why this doesn't seem as Disney fairy tale positive. That's why you feel like you're in prison. Or someone feels in prison because they juggled this. I'm not gonna say they juggled it like juggled it with someone else, but they juggled it within themselves. They decided to stay so so strong and firm. Um, they never. I don't know. Maybe they just thought this would always be here. Mental conflict about the Empress. Maybe you just always thought that she was never gonna leave. And take it how it resonates. If you're a man or a woman, take take the story how it resonates with you. Leave the rest. But something's telling me to clear the deck before I get into this occupation card. So what I'm feeling and at the bottom of the deck is emotional loss, obstacles and challenges. I don't know that someone chose wisely. I don't know that someone chose wisely if they if they knew that they were an emperor and they found their wish fulfillment, their heart space lit up like none other. They knew intuitively you have the magician, like you knew you have the intuition and the awareness. You knew intuitively that this was your partner, but you still you you brought stagnation. I'm hearing like too firm, like not moving, not budging, not wanting to bend. And then that brought probably some narcissism there could have been some cheating some devilish type energy but let's move on to occupation okay spirit says clean that up we went through that so just so that you can see what's still on the board imprisonment lovers and now we're going to move into occupation so let's see 
I'm also getting, um, like, you know when Medusa stares at you and then you t it turns into stone? I'm hearing this turned into stone. Which there means there's no more life for this. I'm also seeing two white doves. So this, I'm hearing, yeah, death. Maybe next lifetime. Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, I don't know if you've ever watched the movie Hocus Pocus. Um, where uh, she doesn't do the, someone did a spell. And if the per the other person didn't do what they needed to do by the end of that time frame, the spell couldn't be the spell. The spell went back to the other person, or it turned it turned her into stone. I think it was yeah. But I'm I'm hearing this if the spell didn't if the person didn't didn't take from the spell, then it was being turned back to the other person. That's what I'm getting from spirit. So if someone did it a spell to try to make this love prolong, keep going, same cycle. I'm hearing. It's not like, oh, I did a spell to make them fall to their knees for me. It's like to, to give to give more time to this or something like that. Um, it, it, it either didn't work or the time expired. I'm hearing, I'm hearing more the time expired. Like it was sitting out there, but no one, no one touched it. I didn't prick, like prick my finger. Like maybe, maybe you've had a recent like burn, prick, something like that, bruise or something. But whatever it was, it like didn't seep into your blood, so it didn't change you, I'm hearing, or whatever, whatever that means. I don't know. Maybe somebody took your blood. Who knows? Ladies, I hate to say it this way, but check your basket, because I've heard about, you know, some men stealing your used pads, tampons. I know. Crazy world we live in. That's why you have to protect yourself. Occupation. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is occupation? For the fire signs, Occupation. Hope, okay. Wisdom, okay. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what is occupation? Go deeper for me. Mm. Okay. Well, let's be honest, still in the hangman. You still have decisions to make and you are still having some suffering going on. So there's that, um, which that's, that's just the heavy energy that I'm just getting from where you are right now or where someone is right now with the decisions that I'm hearing that have been made. There's no decisions to be, decisions were made. You were in, okay, you were in a stagnant, you made a decision and now you're suffering in silence, but you made these decisions I'm hearing. You made these decisions. And occupation, so someone is definitely bossing up. Occupation. <laughs> occupation. If I'm not mistaken, that is the sun and the moon from foundations. And awareness. <laughs> 66. Bottom. Okay. Someone tapped into. So I, I feel like this is the other person. And I do have, if you can see, I do have a female in this. Yep. So I have a female who has decided to move on from whatever love they were trying to give to someone. All that. I'm okay. I'm gonna read it the way Spirit's giving it to me. All of the the love, the light um, that they had for this. They see that there was a lot of lies and things that were kept in the shadows, things that were kept from them. <clears throat> okay. They decided to use their wisdom and their connection to spirit self, higher self, to find their own foundation within, to start their own material harvest. And this is now caused bottom of the deck, some heartache and loss with the person from their past, but it was the truth and balance was needed so that they can move far forward positively into their material and spiritual prosperity. And right now, I do feel like a lot of the females are in emotional, emotionally withdrawn right now. 
So again, take that how that resonates. Um, I do I do feel a lot of um, I don't want to say toil and labor like hard labor, but I just feel like there is some 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 new ventures, new businesses, new mindsets. Um, if there's something that you oh, I'm hearing very strong, if there's something that you're looking to create, it's time to create those things. Whoever feels in prison, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, love and light and wishing you the, the very best. What's below wealthy man? <laughs> Fire signs. Whether you're the we whether you're the man trying to be wealthy, excuse me, or you're the woman looking for the wealthy man in the distance horizon, it, it it's on its way. So that material harvest, that firm foundation, that's coming. Don't worry about it. So I don't even know where at with time. I need to start double checking time. Um, but I will pull your butterfly kisses messages quick, and then um. We'll get out of here. So these are messages from your counterpart. Again, initials of their names, chakra points that may be overactive, underactive, or blocked. Um, me messages of love, lust, or other. So what do we have for the fire signs? the fire signs, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Okay. Bottom of the deck, G as in George or J as in Jackson. Initials, first, middle, or last of their name. The way that thing jiggle go. Memories. Sacral chakra. Never knew love until I met you. I ride by your home because I miss your face. Said. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sag. So this is your reading. M is in Mary. P is in Paula. Initials of their name. I wish you were here with me right now. Root chakra. 18 to 25 years old. So I'm, I'm feeling that's when you may have first met this person. A as in apple or D as in David. Initials. Make me laugh then make me moan. I miss everything about you. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So maybe this is a fire who's dating or dated an air sign. Or you could be cross-watching. Who knows? I want you to have my children throat chakra and meet me at the altar. So for those in this particular connection, speak your truth, ground yourself, and definitely make sure that you're balancing um, that feminine masculine energy within yourself. Know when to be vulnerable. And also I wanted, they're saying again, bring up the heart chakra. So you need to speak from a place of the heart, not also from just logic and the root. If you're not opening up your heart, how do you ever expect to really find true love? So I hope that helped. Um, thank you all for stopping by. Namaste. Ashe. Amen. Uh, love and light to you. Protection. If you're in any areas um, where this election might get a little crazy, Please just um, keep yourself protected. Stay inside if possible. Um, I send you all my love and, and light all around this world. Um, thank you all for your likes, your, your shares, and your subscribes. Even though it's not about that, I just thank you all for your energy and for stopping by. Take care of yourself.